in this video in this video we will start from relationship between distance and displacement distance can be either greater than or equal to displacement from this figure or example we can clearly understand suppose a body moves 4 meter and then turns left and moves 3 meter so distance in this case will be 4 plus 3 7 meter while the displacement will be all of you know that it is the shortest path so shortest path is the diagonal and by applying the Pythagoras theorem it will become under root 4 square plus 3 square that is 5 meter second point is that distance and displacement can be equal if body moves in a straight line or you can say uniform velocity remember there should not be any change in direction displacement is positive negative and zero it can be positive negative and zero for example if the final position is more than the initial position the displacement is positive if the final position is lying behind the initial position the displacement is negative and if final position and initial position is same the displacement is zero but distance is always positive or zero why the distance because the final position is always ahead of the we take the total path length that is the basic thing zero when the body is at rest then distance is zero let us concentrate on the numericals or problems related to distance and displacement here first problem is there suppose a body moves from a to b and again it comes to c so how you will calculate the distance and displacement all of you know that distance is equal to the total path length here the total path length is from a to b and the, then again it comes to c so it will become ab plus bc that is 2 meter plus 1 meter that is 3 meter now what will be the displacement displacement is the shortest path that shortest path is ac so ac is equal to ab plus minus bc I have used the sign here minus BC because the body returns on the same path. So this is 2 meter plus minus 1 meter that is 1 meter. Now come to question number 2. A body moves on a square path of side 10 meter each. It starts from A. After completing one and half round, what will be the distance and displacement? So dis distance all of you know that it is the total path length. So distance is equal to one and half round that is from AB, BC, CD, DA again AB and BC. So AB plus BC plus CD plus DA plus AB plus BC that is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 60 meter. Now what is the displacement? Displacement it is the shortest path between the initial and final position after one and half round the body reaches at c so that displacement will be ac in this case ac so you can see abc is the right angle triangle so displacement ac is equal to under root ab square plus bc square that is under root 10 square plus 10 square it will become 10 root 2 the final answer is 10 root 2 you put the value 1.4 that is 14 meter Yes, now come to another question. Suppose a body moves on a semicircular path following the path ACB. The radius of the semicircle is 7 meter. The body comes from A to B. Here I have written already body moves from A to B following the path ACB. Now what will be the distance? Distance on all of you know that body moves from A to B following C. So that is the circumference of the semicircle and the circumference of the semicircle is pi r. So it will become 22 by 7 into 7. This will become 22 meter. Now what will be the displacement? Displacement is the final position B and initial position A. That is the length of AB and this length of AB is the diameter. So AB is equal to twice of radius. So 2 into 7 that is 14 meter. 
now same question is there i have changed it slightly the body starts from a following the path c and b and again it comes to a in that case what will be the distance and what will be the displacement so distance is equal to this circumfer cir circumference of the semicircle pi r plus this path ab total path length is there so pi r plus 2r so 22 by 7 into 7 plus 2 into 7 it will become 22 plus 14 that is equal to 36 meter but what is displacement since the body moves from a and again comes to a initial and final position is same so displacement is equal to 0